The Indian Air Force has successfully test-fired the extended-range BrahMos air-launched supersonic cruise missile from a Su-30 fighter jet against a target ship, and the missile achieved a direct hit on the designated target demonstrating precision strike. News media has reported that the range of the extended-range BrahMos air-launched supersonic cruise missile is 700 km, and the Air Force has said that this task was achieved through a team effort of the Indian Air Force Indian Navy DRDO BrahMos Aerospace and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Hindustan Aeronautics and New Space Research and Technologies have been collaborating to convert the Kiran Mark II trainer as an unmanned combat vehicle, and as per latest information, the naval Tejas aircraft might also become an optionally manned combat aircraft like the Kiran Mark II. The naval Tejas already features a hands-free takeoff mode, and further automation might help it to become its optically manned combat configuration. Turkey is already developing Bayraktar Kizil Elma jet-powered low-observable carrier-capable unmanned combat aerial vehicle, and seeing a demand for such carrier-capable platforms, the naval Tejas will be used as a demonstrator for future unmanned combat aerial vehicle that the Indian Navy has in mind. South Korea has unveiled its Indo-Pacific strategy, and has termed India as a main actor in the South Asian region in its first ever strategy on Indo-Pacific. South Korea has announced that it will advance the special strategic partnership with India, that will include joint production of weapons with India. India is in talks for the export of K-9 Vajra self-propelled howitzers to third countries in cooperation with South Korea, that will be a win-win partnership for the two sides. The K-9 Vajra has good potential in third countries, and the two governments as well as the industries are cooperating to take these opportunities forward. South Korea has already supplied 100 K-9 Vajra howitzers to the Indian Army, and follow-on orders for 200 more units is in the pipeline. South Korean KSS-3 submarine is also among the top contenders in India's Project 75I to build six advanced conventional submarines. The Indian Air Force has decided to equip its upcoming Netra Mark II airborne early warning and control system with directional infrared countermeasures, that is designed to protect aircraft against heat-seeking ground-to-air missiles. Israeli firm Elbit Systems and India's Bharat Electronics have started talks for local production of the directional infrared countermeasures, that will be integrated into the Airbus 321 aircraft structure, as the system comes with integrated advanced fiber laser technology, together with a high frame rate thermal camera and a small highly dynamic mirror turret. The directional infrared countermeasures will be customized to meet the requirements of the Indian Air Force, and will also be optimized to protect other large aircraft, including transporters tankers special mission platforms. The Indian Army has released a request for proposal for the procurement of 252 6x6 high mobility vehicles through fast track procedure under the by Indian category, and the document clearly mentions that it should be able to recover guns up to 20 tons, and interestingly, the indigenous ATAGS weighs 18 tons, which is well within the criteria. The latest request for information for 155mm 52 caliber towed gun system notes that the weight of the gun system should be preferably less than 15 tons, and we had already reported that the 15 ton is not a weight barrier, and is merely a preference and not a stringent requirement, and the indigenous ATAGs will soon get an initial order for 150 units. Bharat Forge is ready to supply 100 ATAGs in the first year and will double its capacity to 200 guns at later stages, that will meet the final requirement of 1,700 guns.